Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at rates of change given Y value. Uh, there is a series of videos before this one, so go check it out in the playlist. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, what we have here is we've got a circle here with, um, you know, the area circle of the circle is given pi r squared. Uh, now the question is that if our area is 36 pi centimeter squared, which is right here, uh, what would be the rate of change of A with respect to radius when the area is 36 pi centimeter squared? Um, and so the way we kind of do this is first we, um, if you think about the question, the question is actually asking what is dA dr uh, when area equals to 36 pi, right? Now the problem is um, we can't actually substitute um, A. And I'll, show, and I'll show you what I mean by that, because we're going to go back to our area equation and we're going to differentiate it. So when we differentiate it, we're going to get dA dr. Pi r squared, when you differentiate it, you're going to end up with 2 pi r. All right. Now, as you guys can see here, what the only thing that we can actually substitute in this equation is r. But however, um, what we have got, though, we don't actually have r. We only have a, which equals to 36 pi. So what we then need to do is we need to actually figure out what the radius is when area is equal to 36 pi. So we're going to do that in the side here. So area equals to 36 pi. So we can say 36 pi is equal to pi r squared because, well, let me do it this way actually, because area is equal to pi r squared and this is equal to 36 pi, uh, then you can kind of see that uh, the two pi's cancel out each other. So we got 36 pi divided by pi. And of course, at this point, our two pi's are going to get cancelled out. And what we've got here is r squared equals 36, and r is equal to positive 6. Now, we're going to say positive 6. We're not really going to worry about the negative 6 here, because radius is a, um, you know, it's got to be a positive number, right? So that's going to be 6 centimeters. So now that we actually have our radius, we can now go back to DADR and substitute radius of 6 to find out what the rate of change is of A with respect to radius is. So we're going to get dA dr is equal to 2 pi r. So now we know that radius is equal to 6 centimeters. So we're going to put that as 6. And when we actually put this together, we actually get 12 pi. So what this actually tells us, now again, you don't need to put your units in there um, uh, for generally for rates of change that you don't need to put your units in there. But um, you know the whole concept is that this is um, increasing uh, centimeter, or well, not increasing, it's actually the rate of change is centimeter squared because that's what area is uh, per centimeter of radius. All right, so you can actually just leave your answer like this DADR is equal to 12 pi, but um, I kind of just add this little statement that when area is equal to 36 pi centimeter squared. Cool, guys, that's basically it for this video. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.